Coach Fear Tahonera of Esprima Fencing and General Manager of Forge Martial Fitness Pioneer. Welcome to the Milo Sports Clinic Online featuring fencing. I'll be teaching you the basics of fencing and I hope you get to learn this sport together with your kids. Speaking of kids, my daughter Clea here will assist me. So before we begin, we have to do some stretching. Okay. To do the stretching, of course, we'll not do the whole thing. We'll just teach you the basic parts before we start the bending. We start off with the head, okay? Make sure the head, that's about 10 counts. To, uh, back up, another 10. Side, 10, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. The arms, 10 seconds. The other arm, another 10 seconds. Here, 10 seconds here, 10 seconds to the elbow, 10 seconds to the elbow. Okay. Leg apart, stretch the side, okay. 10 seconds, stretch the side again, 10 seconds. And then legs apart, touch your toes. There you go, just watch her. Okay, the side, both times. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Then lunges, okay, good. And the other way, lunges, okay, good. Very good. Now, we will now proceed with the lesson proper. The first thing that you're going to learn for today would be the leg work. First, the on guard position. Facing there, if you're if you are or if you are right-handed, right right hand forward, a right foot forward, left foot at the back, form a letter L first together. Okay. Then take one step forward with your right foot, with our lead foot. Okay, the distance is about the distance here is about one foot and a half, or approximately the length of the shoulder. Now the feet, the, the footwork is there. Then bend the knees. Bend your knees. It's like you're sitting on a stool. Next, forearm is parallel to the ground this another this is between the body and the elbow is one fist away the left the non-dominant hand the one you won't be using try to keep it away from the target and put it on the waist the side view if she's facing if the opponent is in front of her this is how the on guard position looks Next, so when you do the advance, you, you step with the front foot, push with the hind leg, then maintain the one foot and the half. Now, as much as possible, try not to move the body, just the legs are moving. Let's do this again, move back here. One more, one, move back, move back, move back. Okay. From an under position, to advance. Advance and advance. Simple. Now, as long as you try to keep the eye level the same, that's your goal. You try not to bounce too much up and down like that. You try to keep it as steady as possible. So let's start it again with you. Convert position and advance, advance, advance. Very good. Now, if there's an advance, there's what we call the retreat. This time, we move back. Same thing. We just do the opposite of it. The hind leg moves back. The front leg pushes at the same time. So, when you do, when you do that, retreat. The distance between the feet is still one foot and a half. Retreat. One foot and a half. Retreat. One foot and a half. Okay. Now to practice the advances and the retreats, we can do a drill that we normally do, which is uh, follow the leader. So let's say I'm going to play. I'm going to play follow the leader with Clea over here. I'm going to maintain a distance. If you look down here, there's about half a meter. Oh, let's make. 
this distance of half a meter. This again, this is just for the for the drills and this is just for practice. If I move, if I step back, if I retreat, Kriya advances. If I advance, Kriya retreats. Now you could do you could do this exercise with the kids um, with an with the proper on guard in mind and the proper advances and retreats. So let's prepare. Red, Ale. Now, her objective is to try to maintain the distance. I try to just move forward and back. And sometimes I can change the speed. I can go fast. Or slow or fast. Or fast again. Okay, if you notice, we all got a little confused there. So, we have to get, you have to practice that part. That she gets used to moving forward and back. Okay, do it again, and repeat, repeat, advance, advance, okay, here's a drill that you can do to practice the lunge, okay, and we get, we also get to use the advances and repeat to that, you push like this for a repeat, advance, sorry, just do it again, advance, retreat, raise a hand, Lunch. Now, Kriya and I will demonstrate this. Kriya, on guard. Advance. Retreat. Advance. Advance. Retreat. Retreat. Lunch. On guard. You can also do a game for you know, using the advances and the repeats. Let's do something like um, rock, paper, scissors, for example. This is a game that we normally do with the screamer uh, to practice our leg work. We'll, we will only have three and three actions. We have lunge, advanced lunge, retreat lunge. The lunge will defeat the advanced lunge. The advanced lunge will defeat the Retreat lunge. Retreat lunge repeats the lunge. Okay? So let's play this game. Let's try to do one. Three points. No. <laughs> okay. On guard. Pre. Ale. The attack is simultaneous. So no score. It's a tie. On guard. Pre. Ale. Advance lunge, retreat lunge, attack point for clear. The score is 0, 1. On guard. Pre, Ale. Advance lunge for me, retreat lunge, 1, 1. On guard. Pre, Ale. Lunge for me, retreat lunge, 1, 2. So if she wins again, she so she wins this bout. If I score, I win. Ready, on guard. Pre, Ale. <laughs> Action simultane. On guard. Pre, Ale. Done. On guard. Pre, Ale. Attack, advance lunge. Two, two. On guard. Pre. Ale. <laughs> no. Lunge. Advance lunge. I score. I win. No. Three, two. So this is a game you, you can play with your child as you enjoy and learn the sport. So next week, we are going to be teaching you how to hold the blade, how to attack. So I look forward to seeing you guys again next week. So my name is Coach Fear and this is Clea. See you guys next week. Bye.